to everyone who have subscribed to this channel. If you have not, please do. Thank you very much for always coming out here. God bless you all. Reactions as Showare re reviews what may happen on October 1st. The revelation by Omoyi Leo Showare, the founder and owner of Sahara Reporters, on what may likely happen on October 1st, the day Nigerians celebrate their independence from British colonialism, had sparked some reactions on Twitter. Showare had tweeted today that on October 1st, 2020, Nigerians in large numbers will fight for a new nation, a re-independence from external and internal colonizers. Record that on 3rd August 2019, Oshawa was arrested by the Nigeria State Security Service, SSS, for alleged treason after calling for a protest tagged Revolution Now. Oshawa was later released on bay on the 24th of December, Christmas Eve, on the order of the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami. The order made by Malami to release him was based on court order. Many of those who reacted to the post urged the revolutionary convener to save any intention of calling out people unlawfully. Galadima Ganiduyu, for instance, says, Please be reasonable calling people out unlawfully as consequences in law. We are in a democracy, and the only path to leadership is the pilot. Please keep trying. What we required in Nigeria now is the revolution of ideas, not violence, he said. Another Twitter user said, who responded to Osawari's tweets, insinuated that Nigerians had their revolution when they voted for President Muhammad Buhari in the 2015 presidential election and have never regretted it. In 2015, we had a re-independence from both external and internal forces and have never regretted it. And that was the re-definition uh, of revolution, not ranting. Ranting on Twitter when you can't even make 35k on bylaws. Boss. <laughs> okay, you see, Nigerians are reacting angrily. Okay, why uh, another person here said, Mr. Oshawari, please, I will advise you to stop speaking on the behalf of Nigerians. They are too scared and lazy to fight for freedom. You have done more than enough to wake them up, but they refused to. At this point, leave them. There are many reactions. Okay. Another person said here, yeah, You are alone oh, in this journey. Oh, good luck. Hope to hear from you by October 2nd, he said. Wait till 2023. Okay. Oshawa, even a fool when he holds his peace is considered wise. When he closes his lips, he is esteemed a man of understanding. Bro, you, your profile. Uh, pigs portrays you to be reasonable. Please don't disappoint. Oh, he said, Okay, somebody said, uh, I stand with our vice president who is a pastor and the reverend, <laughs> Reverend Mbaka, is supporting Buhari. He said, I don't know where that one is coming from. All right, someone said, uh, Nonsense revolution now protest. This guy does not mean well for this country if. He does anything stupid. He should be arrested and let him let him be jailed till 2023. If for start now, you go see the idiot or him or his followers. I beg Nigerians, make him not come out to. Oshawaire is a journalist and a politician. He knows what he's doing. Somebody said that. Let us wait and see what will happen that very day. Okay, someone said, yeah, we need change in this country. The way things are going on right now, it's not the best. Thank you, Oshawari. We are coming out. <laughs> oh, my God. Wahala everywhere. 
I am telling you, I don't know when all these things is going to stop. Nigeria is only God we needed now. That is just it. It's only God that is what we needed now in this country. Because the way things are going, <laughs> my brothers and sisters, I don't want to say more than that. <laughs> it's only God we needed now. Trouble everywhere. You understand? Just like what someone is saying here. Why is it that only trouble we see in this country? Even the so-called leaders, they are not even interested in the interest of these masses here. But all they know is just to loot Nigerian money and all that. God is going to punish all our leaders. Okay, someone said, yeah, oh, sure worry. let me tell you, please. You are going to forget about this your agenda because it's not going to work. Nobody is going to come out for anything. And stop doing this because it's not going to take you anywhere, he said. Okay, someone said, yeah, oh, sure worry. I advise you as my brother. I am advising you because we are from the same place. You have to forget about this, your revolution, protest or whatever, because it's not taking you anywhere. We know what happened the first time you tried. Just forget about it because even the people you are trying to fight for, they are not ready to join you. Okay, someone said, yeah, I beg, me and not they go anywhere, okay, because waiting they happen for this country. We all know waiting day, but we Nigerians, now we keep ourselves like this to suffer. Even as seeing the call out now, people they criticize and say, wait to make and they talk. Nobody wants to be a scapegoat. Then who you want make it come entire head? Me and them a house. Show and Ray back. Go and sleep for now. <laughs> oh, this guy is funny. Which side now he is? So, hello guys, I'm going to drop it here for now. What's your take on this? Kindly leave your opinion.